November the 6th, first, King Vaughn got shot. Second, that he was in critical condition. And third, that he passed away. What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is B Octavia. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington DC. Today's video will be very a very tragic and unfortunate situation as I've came to y'all with FBG Ducks passing. Pop Smoke's passing, Nipsey Hussle's passing, and other people who were not in the rap industry or in the rap lifestyle. Today is November the 6th, and everybody around the world got the same news that I got, that first, King Vaughn got shot, second, that he was in critical condition and third that he passed away it's the day of getting the news and i am deeply disappointed i want to tell you how i feel about it and the details surrounding the case thus far so i'm going to start with the details surrounding the case so, November the 6th, King Vaughn and his entourage had a appearance at, um, at a lounge in Atlanta, Georgia. So, as shown on his sister's Instagram of that night, I got a few snapshots of it. And as we can see, all of them are having fun. He is performing his song. Everybody is in good spirits. And around 3 a.m., all of that changed. There are a lot of different things that are being thrown around, including a man's Instagram being harassed, you know, by comments, because a lot of people on Instagram think that is the person that shot and killed three people and injured two other people but it was said that this altercation and this shootout occurred between Quando Rondo and King Von's entourage now there is video of them hanging around each other recently before any of this went down and that's why i be telling y'all about entourages you know i understand how it is to be alone and to move alone and how you may feel that that is dangerous but sometimes entourages pop shit off and it's not you i'm not saying that that's what went down in this scenario but still that's a lot of the times how shit pops off and how things become uncontrollable. I actually and unfortunately seen the video of what went down and I won't share it. I won't show it to you. I'm pretty sure that with how social media is, everybody will see it. And just like when I watched FBG Ducks murder or the aftermath of his murder it did something to me half of me wished that i wouldn't have seen it but the other half of me really appreciated seeing it because it's reality it's the rawest form of reality and violence within the black community and between black people is the harshest reality that black people have to face because all of us want justice for Amar Arbery all of us are screaming justice for Breonna Taylor but we can't even show each other enough respect not to want to cause bodily harm in that way what happened to knuckling up and leaving it at that? 
Why in the fuck does it always have to be gunplay? Why in the fuck does it always have to be that somebody doesn't walk away? They go straight to the morgue. Why in the fuck does it have to be like that? King Von is and was very talented. I don't like to speak past tense when things are very fresh. He is very talented. But one thing that I've always been very disappointed in him about is continuously stirring up beef between hoods and he don't have to be there. The people that's actually from O Block, that still live in O Block, and the people that's actually from 63rd, that still live in 63rd, gotta deal with what the fuck you saying. So, it falls on you. But a lot of times with them rap, certain lines like that get glorified. And it puts a battery in either side's back to just keep it going. It don't get nobody nowhere. One thing that I've always wanted King Von to do is to mature. I respect his craft. I admire his voice and his talent, but one thing that he really lacked was the maturity. As a 26 year old who has been down the road for murder and back, maturity. Somebody who has children. I'm looking for maturity in you. And I didn't hear it all the time. And that's what he needed. That's what everybody needs to survive. We can't keep going on with this mentality of kill, kill, murder, murder, jewelry, this, that, and the fourth. It's not getting us nowhere. And we have huge targets on our backs. How a lot of the people that I grew up around didn't really grasp reality and didn't understand and learn from the situations that they was in. I wish that he really, really protected his energy. I wish that he really focused on his craft. And that's why I say entourages are not really the wave. Because a lot of those people around you, they don't have the money that you have. They will never have the experience that you have if they not around you. And all of that is fine and dandy, but it seems to me like you get put in more situations the more people that you hang around. I am praying for his family. I am praying for his close friends, including Lil Durk, especially Lil Durk. I'm praying for his kids. I'm praying for his children's mothers. I'm praying for his mother. I am praying for those directly involved, both deceased and severely injured, both emotionally and physically. Let me just say that. And I want to speak on this and let this be the, the last thing that I say one thing that I'm tired of seeing is Asian Doll and King Von listen I'm gonna say this one time and one time only a relationship that didn't last as long as the men that died beside him does not matter let me say that. So even though Asian Doll said what she said to me, I keep the same energy, but I do have a little bit of sympathy because you were close to him. But let's not forget, their relationship was done a while ago. It's no need to keep bringing out pictures of King Von and Asian Doll when this is not about their relationship this is not about how she feels this is not about her and i would say that if it was anybody else too
This is not about her. I'm tired of people trying to snatch the the attention away from what it really is about. He is a talented man, a father that lost his life. His mother has to pick up the pieces. The children's mothers, the kids have to live without seeing their father's face again. And people are posting about Asian Doll and King Von. It's not about that. She talking about that she want to die and all this. Listen to me one time. If you have the energy and the time that it takes for you to type out a suicide threat against yourself, it takes the same amount of time to take your own life. I'm tired of people being dramatic and saying things that they don't mean. You don't mean that. 